Let me use this occasion to reiterate the position of the Judicial Service Convention and indeed of the entire judiciary that we are ready to process any complaints against any judge or judicial officer who is implicated in corruption or in any other acts of misconduct and state that we abhor corruption in all its formats, be it bribery, which is indeed a crime. However, such complaints must be launched and processed in the manner prescribed by the Constitution. Days are gone when officers were hounded, judges, judicial officers were hounded out of office through name calling and naming and shaming. The Judicial Service Commission, which is the body mandated by the Constitution to deal with the matters of complaints, will only act on the basis of evidence and not on blanket statements or allegations that have not been substantiated. Doing otherwise will mean that we will be overthrowing the Constitution, which we all swore to protect and to promote, and also throwing out the rule of law. The, that the Judicial Service Commission will not do. I will continue to urge our honorable judges, judicial officers, and judiciary staff to continue discharging their duties in accordance with their oaths of office and in accordance with the law. Let us remain true to the constitutional instruction that the discharge of judicial duties shall be subject only to the constitution and the law and not the direction or control of any person or authority. And we should do this without any fear of intimidation and without any favor. I also take this opportunity to urge Kenyans to remain vigilant, to safeguard the hand-worn gains of our constitution, including that of judicial independence, and for us to remain focused on protecting and promoting the rule of law for the safety of our society. Let us never take law into our hands because that rings into anarchy. These are the sacrosanct promises of our constitution and they are gains for which Kenyans died, others lost their property and limbs to have a constitution. Therefore, we all Kenyans must remain faithful to the Constitution, which is our true north all the time. In closing, let us all reflect on the profound impact the Honorable Hannah Mandi has had on the judiciary and draw inspiration from our exemplary service as we forge our end in our quests to deepen access to justice and further the realization of the social transformation promise which is guaranteed by our constitution.